Story time with Elena. Story time with Elena. Hello, everyone. Today's story is Little Lucy by Eileen Cooper, illustrated by John Kanzler. Lucy was a little beagle. She was brown and black and white. Her eyes looked like chocolate candy. Here's what Lucy liked. Running, barking, chewing, howling, and she loved her boy Bobby Quinn. Lucy also liked riding in the car. She liked to stick her head out the window. She liked the way the wind ruffled her fur. Lucy, Bobby said, we are going to a new place today. New? What did that mean? Bobby clipped Lucy's leash to her collar. Lucy knew what that meant. They were going outside. Mr. Queen got in the car. So did Mrs. Queen. She put a red cooler in the back seat. Bobby got in the back seat too. Lucy jumped in beside him. She barked at the window. Bobby knew what that meant. Lucy wanted him to open the window. Mr. Queen drove and drove. The wind ruffled Lucy's fur. But the air smelled different. It smelled like trees and grass. There weren't any people on the sidewalk. There weren't any sidewalks. Lucy saw a big black and white animal behind the fence. It let out a long moo. Lucy let out a long howl. She added a bark just to show who was boss. At last, the car stopped. Bobby and Lucy got out. Let's go see the lake, Bobby said. Lucy pranced along ahead of Bobby. Then she stopped. What in the world was that? It was big. It was blue. It looked wet. That's the lake, Bobby said. The lake is fun. You can go swimming. Bobby took off his shoes. He stuck his toes in the lake. Water rolled over his feet. Water rolled over Lucy's paws too. She jumped back. The lake was too big. It was too cold. And it was much too wet. Bobby grabbed the beach ball. Come on, Lucy, he said. Let's play in the water. Lucy liked the big beach ball, but she still didn't like the lake. She turned her back on the water. She doesn't want to go in, Mrs. Queen said. I will tie her leash to that tree. Then you can swim. Tied up? Lucy knew what that meant. No fun. But Lucy settled down under the leafy tree. It was cool and quiet. She put her head on her paws. She closed her eyes. Lucy was almost asleep. Then she heard a sound. Zzz, zzz. What was that noise? Lucy opened one eye. A small bug was flying around her ear. Lucy barked a little bark. The bug went away. Then she closed her eyes again. Zzz, zzz. Lucy growled a little growl. That pesky bug kept right on buzzing. Ouch! The bug bit Lucy's ear. Lucy rubbed her head on the ground. She rolled around. She rolled around some more. 
her leash came loose. Lucy was free. Nobody saw Lucy escape. Mrs. Queen was reading a book. Mr. Queen was grilling hamburgers. Lucy trotted off to explore. She saw a bright blue bird. She sniffed a pile of leaves. Then she heard a funny sound. Ribbit! She looked around. There was a small green frog. The frog hopped away. Lucy followed it. The frog hopped faster. Ribbit! Lucy tried to catch up. That frog was fast. It hopped into a puddle. The puddle was small, but it was wet. Lucy didn't follow the frog into the puddle. It hopped out of sight. Lucy went around the puddle. She ran after the frog. Did Lucy watch where she was going? No, she did not. She tumbled down a small hill. She wasn't hurt, but she wasn't happy. Grass and dirt and leaves stuck to her fur. Lucy was hot and dirty. She gave herself a shake. Bits of grass and dirt and leaves still stuck to her coat. Lucy wanted her family. Where were they? She looked around. No bird, no frog, no family. They were all gone. What should she do? How was she going to find her way back? Lucy stood quietly. She looked for the car. She listened for Bobby. She sniffed the air. Something smelled good. She knew that smell. Hamburgers. Lucy had a good nose for smelling. She followed her nose. She ran up the hill. She ran past the small puddle. The green frog was there. Ribbit. Lucy did not slow down. She had to get back to her family. The burger smell got stronger. Then Lucy saw what she was looking for. Bobby! Bobby spotted his dog. His eyes grew wide. Lucy, he said, you got away. Mrs. Queen gasped. Oh, Lucy, she said, you are all dirty. Bobby gave Lucy a big hug. He didn't care about the dirt. Lucy's tail wagged. What was all the fuss about? Lucy needs a bath, Mrs. Queen said. There's a big bathtub, Mr. Queen said. He pointed at the lake. Lucy didn't like the lake, Bobby said. Try again, Bobby, his mother said. Bobby carried Lucy to the water. He held her tight. Lucy looked up at Bobby with her big brown eyes. Don't worry, Lucy, Bobby said. In a second, they were in that wet blue water. Lucy was surprised. Then she barked. It felt good. Bobby splashed water on her. The dirt and leaves washed off. Lucy wiggled out of Bobby's arms. Hey, Bobby said, can you swim? Lucy dog paddled next to Bobby. Yes, she could. The lake was big and blue. The water was wet. Lucy didn't mind. Lucy liked the lake. She liked it a lot. Thank you for watching Storytime with Elena. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when a new story is posted. Goodbye.